great we are live on youtube good evening everyone i request you all to switch on your videos uh, we are joined by a fantastic mentor uh, mr shriyank seth he is uh, the person who has uh, been there done that kind of thing right he is also working with hindalco uh, as a part of young finance professionals program uh, this is a program for which hindalco is hiring at small center campus and it is going to be a very specific insightful session towards how you should approach uh, an interview uh, for hindalco right uh, uh, how it's going to be uh, what are some specific things that you should look at uh, so I request you all to switch on your videos and we'll start uh, in a couple of minutes shriyank you can start uh, by uh, just giving a small brief introduction about yourself okay. and then a bit about the company and how one should approach if uh, the person is selected for this uh, how should one approach uh, for preparing for the inter for the interview okay. over to you shriyank okay okay good evening all of you my name is shriyan seth i am from hindalco industries which is a metal flagship of aditya billa group i want little bit interactions also from you all can you anyone tell me in which metal does hindalco deals with it's your can type it should be a interactive session i guys uh, uh, can you all hear us can you type in the chat what metals uh, what metal does hindal ko deal with chat is enabled can anybody type in the chat uh, i think we should be interactive because it will increase your chances of hiring Hmm. if you hide yourself this time it will you are losing your chance and opportunity which is available in the market so please open camera and interact you can switch on your videos you can type in the chat yeah yeah i can see some of the answers aluminum aluminum okay okay so hindalco deals in aluminum its manufacture also and its sales also manufacturing part there is a jargons of hindalco industries an industry also like upstream business and downstream business and hindalco deals in both upstream business it covers manufacturing of uh, aluminum from bauxite we uh, manufactures the aluminum and downstream business we prepare a value added product from the aluminum like we can see in buses checkered sheets pressure cookers wire rods ingots all these are downstream products so Grow, coming to the growth trajectory upstream business is uh, driven by lme london metal exchange and it's decide the price of the upstream business of the metal so we are expanding our downstream business also so that our uh, product should not be lme driven and we can charge our value at for our value added products price depend on our sell not on the market so that's why coming to the growth trajectory there are huge chances of growing because we are expanding our downstream business we have set up different downstream plants also in silvasa alupuram okay and total hindalco has 15 plants okay now how hindalco is different from other companies first it's a techno commercial profile you need to understand the plant you need to understand the manufacturing and because you ultimately need to do the costing part and in every in hedging part you need to better understand the business of hindalco then secondly here you can enjoy as you all know in ca we generally lives in uh, pgs or in homes and we do a home uh, distance learning but in indalco you can enjoy your college life which you missed earlier because they offers you uh, young managers accommodation where uh, people from different domains different profile like legal hr and gt is all live together you can have a better experience of college life also here okay now scope and skills required for getting into the hindalco you should be uh, you should be thorough with your uh, cvs okay and uh, you should have the people management skills you should have that skill apart from that you should uh, you don't bluff in in terms of in uh, front of the interviewer because they will uh, catch you quickly okay apart from that you should have basic knowledge of whatever you have uh, studied in the our final and uh, ipcc you should have basic knowledge of that topics any question on this part hmm. 
if you guys have any doubt you can put in the chat also for people connected from youtube you can put your doubts in the chat we'll pick it up from there i think we should move forward shriyank okay now coming to the uh, can i start uh, go with the interview process what is there uh, uh, you can you can also throw some light on the program young finance professional program okay. so what, what is Generally it for uh, young people up to the age of 30 they run a, they run a young finance professional program that is yfp programs and uh, you should believe me that there is a lot of respect given by uh, your older people and the lower manager staff to the yfps this type of respect you can't enjoy in other uh, big force and like that there is lot of respect which we give to the yfps the young finance program it's scheduled like that first year will be training period in that period you should you will go through different profiles like gst ar ap bill passing mis capex these are lots of profile you go through in one year and believe me i also went through these profiles but you should you should have that zeal that i should i have to learn everything if you don't learn nobody will ask you to do that okay so you should have that zeal apart from that uh, yearly we have a, a young finance professional meet also there comes the cfo md they ask what is the ground level problem they interact with you we do skits apart from that the new things which are in, introduced in our yfp program that they within one year or within one to two months they plan entire plant induction because they also know the plant induction is very important so in all the 15 units they uh, arrange their program so that we can visit the manufacturing plant and understand their workings apart from that hindalco also have a copper business they in a copper business lot of hedging we do so whatever we studied in our uh, courses we can have that practical application in licensing business you are also involved so i don't think such great exposures you can enjoy in another company in other another companies okay and yfp programs offers you a lot apart from that through yfp programs hindalco tries that old people who have uh, captured their profile who don't want to interact through yfp program they want that new people should learn that and try to improve we give different suggestions also how the we can improve our basic workings how a kayan can be implemented different programs how we can improve so this is the all about yfp program this is a short uh, brief overview we can say of the yfp programs of hindalco up to the age of 31 they uh, they entertain you as a yfp okay and they treat you like a fresher for one to two year they do not put much burden on you you will be treated as a fresher they will guide you they will train you for entire one year it's a such a huge period but they will train you for one year and you can find out that uh, the practical application of your study here got it now how should one approach an interview okay so interview first step is gd that is the group discussion i want everyone should open their camera because oh with with the with the one year training take place at particular plant location yeah one year training you will be allocated one particular plant but they try to arrange that you visit all the plants so that you so should have basic knowledge because every plant has their own expertise some have a downstream business some has a upstream business some have a copper business so they try that you should know every plant because in future you will be relocated to corporate also so they want that entire knowledge of manufacturing plant you should have so that you can proper handle the hedging business apart from that costing part for its procurement okay so the interview process the first step is the group discussion group discussion uh, there they covers the basic topic like work life balance work from home or work from office okay why uh, uk uh, us economy downfall russia ukraine wars apart from that uh, our ca monk also uh, have a sessions on uh, group discussion and with the help of uh, their uh, session of group discussion i am able to crack the uh, group discussion of hindalco okay group discussion there are some tactics that you, how you should start first where to stop where to you should remain you should remain stick to one point that that i am for the topic against the topic 
you should end up with the conclusion. These uh, points will add up to your marks. Okay. And there are more chances of clearing the group, di group discussion. So first step, Hindalgo is the GD part. Okay. And there are basic topics which will be covered by CMO. So you should join their sessions of uh, group discussion also. It will really be helpful. And if you go uh, without preparing, now, you will definitely lose because there are some tactics also on group discussion. Then second, uh, the process is personal interview. Okay. In case of personal interview, they ask questions from different domains. And in personal interview, you should depict your special quality, whether in articleship you do something different or you have some special quality which is different from other and you should mention that point in your CV also. And first try to prepare, tell me about yourself. I think uh, CM Ongar already covered that part. Tell me about yourself should be crux, brief and it should cover everything. Okay, then you should have basic knowledge of uh, different uh, topics which are covered in our CF, different subjects which are covered in our CA final. They will not ask, ask much uh, detail. I have uh, one, uh, I have earlier interview, I have earlier taken interview also. So I, in the alcohol industry told me that there is some one people for guy, which you have recommended the name. It's happened that he do not know basic thing. They asked in India so 16, I, uh, what is component accounting? So he didn't know that part. So try to prepare basic things. Okay. Now let's start with the questions. What they ask in the interview interview process. The first question they can ask uh, the first is tell me about yourself. Then coming to the costing part, uh, we can prepare uh, SFM. We can do the uh, what is what to say ROE, what is CAPA model, variance analysis. Since we do costing a lot, so variance analysis, you should have knowledge of that part. Okay. Apart from that, what is the difference between future and forward contracts? Okay. The next question could be derivatives. Net, they can raise questions from the derivatives also. Apart from that, costing, you should know the basic definitions like sunk cost. Okay. And uh, uh, then we can cover the in SFM NPV IRR, which is better. They can raise question on that part. Then you should go through with the latest amendment like in uh, GST. What is uh, the in e invoicing limit? Okay. What is the e invoicing limit? And uh, apart from that, uh, in case of TDS, you should prepare the section 194Q. And what are the latest amendments? Okay. And in GST, you can go through block credit. That uh, they, there is generally question on that uh, for which ITCs are not available. Apart from that, there is question uh, from in case of NDS, you can prepare NDS 16, 116, 115, 2. In case of 115, they generally prepare case study. So you should know the name of uh, India's 115 and it's five step model and the uh, case study case study. They can prepare like that uh, FOB and CIF basis. Okay. When the ownership of goods will be passed. So they prepare case study like this. This is, this was included in my case study. Okay. Apart from that, you should go through the annual report also and the latest uh, quarterly result also come of Hidalgo Industries. Go through basic jargons, uh, basic things like turnover, EBITDA, P ratio. Okay. Apart from that, you should know the MD and the CFO name, share price of Hidalgo and uh, what is the LME of aluminium. Okay. They can raise questions on that also. CV, your CV need to be prepared thoroughly. Whatever you have written in your CV, you should be very brief on that. You should be know each and everything very deeply because they generally test you based on that. If you have included direct tax expertise or you can include indirect tax expertise because every domain are covered here. They can raise question on any domain uh, on which you have spent, uh, express your expertise. So don't try to bluff them. Okay. Apart from that, Hindalco in your batch have increased the package also. In our batch, it was a little bit less, but in your batch, they have uh, raised package from around uh, 30%. Okay. So it's grateful to all you. Apart from that, in first year, it's 12 lakh. In second year, it's 14.5 lakh. So 
growth wise also it's very good and uh, apart from that there are some other questions also they can ask major acquisition of what is the major acquisition of hindalco they raise question on, on that part on me the major acquisition is novelis they generally provide a brief profile also before the interview in which they cover the basics of hindalco so if they provide you read that part also apart from that how to evaluate long term investments in capex are in our capex profile uh, we need to evaluate long term investments on the basis of you can say that on the basis of payback period irr okay so they cover that part also then apart from that they raise question that what is your proficiency in excel okay uh, what how can you rate out of 10 your proficiencies in excel then they raise questions why i should hire you okay so prepare that part also what is the special in you that they should hire you okay then ndas 1116 what is rao asset how to identify rao assets so these are the basic question they generally cover in the interview process so prepare basics of everything and you should be brief through your cvs okay apart from that in last step they uh, in the interview process they offer you different job look uh, different locations of hindalco so uh, you should be i think open to all you you should be willing to relocate to any because they generally do not offer you uh, location as per you uh, as per your wish they offer you the locations where there is a vacancy where there is a requirement so i tell you about the different locations also of hindalco what are the unit locations the in the up there is uh, renukut okay in mp there is mahan and in up there is renu sagar also renu sagar is a power plant renukut covers everything upstream business downstream business apart from that uh, yeah up upstream and downstream and then comes the renu sagar is a power plant okay then uh, utkal utkal is upstream business it's in andhra pradesh then alupuram it is in karnataka it's totally extrusion plant okay kupam is in uh, kerala then silvasa west bengal then uh, belur then there is belgavi okay then moda in uh, maharashtra taloja billa copper is in gujarat so there are different locations as per their need they offer you any location so that's uh, brief about in uh, interview and process Got it, so guys. If you have any questions, part? if you have any questions, you can put it in the chat. Uh, I think there are some questions. Uh, do they hire off campus for this program, Shriyank? Uh, in my batch and earlier batch, they hire off campus. But uh, since in the latest YFP meet, I had a discussion. Say they told my YFP had told me that they will hire through campus only, no off campus. From this okay. time, no off campus. Earlier, they hired off campus also. Got it. Uh, there's one question: Do we have to prepare for SFM and costing questions also? I think. Yeah, yeah. Sounds... You need to prepare for every every subject because all domains are covered here in day-to-day -day profile. So prepare basics of uh, every subject. Okay. And if you in your CV you told that I am an expert is in direct tax or yeah, for indirect tax, so they generally ask question from that profile. Little bit they can ask from different also. So. But go through your CV first. Got it. Any other questions, guys? If you have any questions, you can put it in the chat. We'll pick it up. Uh, we have vacancy one... for corporate office. Okay. Uh, for uh, initial one to two years, they generally offer plant location because corporate basically business is uh, corporate. What do they manage everything? And apart from that, they do hedging parts. So if you don't know the manufacturing plant, you can't operate in the corp corporate. So. For initial one to three years, they generally offer you plant location. After that, they relocate to you to the corporate. Okay, first you should have a basic understanding of different manufacturing plants. After two to three years, they offer you relocation to corporate. And growth wise, also in Dalco is good. You in every year you get a ten to fifteen percent hike. So, and uh, there is a concept of a jb also job uh, so in jb what happens they offer you as per your no no bond no bond is there so 
with the help of different jbs you enjoy as different uh, amenities or we can say different quarters based on your jbs so initially they offer you jb10 and jb generally changes in th uh, three years but through your work they can change you within one to two years also so you should perform here to grow what is accommodation provided at plant are in remote areas they provide you accommodation if but if plant is in remote area so accommodation will be also there in remote area generally accommodation is near to the plant first year we can be at any plant location after that we get allocated allotted a permanent location generally what happens that uh, uh, when they sent you in a particular plant so they sent you for around 1.5 years. Initially, they uh, call you in the corporate. They have a seven to days meet. Apart from that, they allocate you plant location. And Jenny, that is your permanent plant location for one to two years. This happens here. Yeah. But after that, uh, uh, any permanent location is, uh, uh, is given? Permanent location, generally, uh, the first to two years, the, the location they offer, it's a permanent thing, permanent time. After, in between, they can relocate to some other location, but they will ask you, okay? They will not relocate you by themselves. They will ask you. So, initially, they offer you permanent location. And there is a, no concept like permanent location here. I, Correct. As per need, they relocate to you anywhere. But initially, what the location you get, it's a permanent for one to two years because in every two to three years they try to relocate okay any other questions guys uh indicative gd topics have already been told uh what hr questions do this really ask? i don't think it's company specific hr questions are i mean uh nobody can guarantee HR, the they will ask simply that uh, whether you are willing to relocate Okay, uh, what are they? Hindalco matters values a lot. Okay, so don't tell anything or speak anything which harm the values. You should so show courtesy, respect for everyone. So alert on that part. Because uh, once what happened that in an interview, when uh, his and in, her interview was going very well, but she told that I don't like my dadi. So they rejected her on the basis of that speech. So be careful on that part. Hindalco matters values a lot. They respect values. Can you repeat technical questions topic from each subject, please? I think this uh, video will be available on YouTube. You can watch it. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, make... what I are the exit the basic questions? questions. Okay. They covered that part only. And it's available also. What are the exit opportunities? In initial first year, they the notice period is only one month. After one year, the notice period is three months. But if you uh, generally within sixty days in the after first year, they allow you to exist. It's two months time, and there is no such. What are the type visit. of companies that one can go to after this? Huh. After when you uh, exit from the Hindalco, okay, so you get a major hike. Uh, most of the people in uh, my previous batch, I see, I had seen that they get a hike of around forty to fifty percent. Okay, in a different uh, in manufacturing sector, you can go different manufacturing sector. Apart from that, you can go to any company. There is no such issue because you do uh, your job profile is what actually CA does. Okay, so there is no issue that you can go to only manufacturing plant. You can go to PSU's manufacturing plants anywhere you can go. No issue in that. But in a case, this can be some issue to join PWC direct tax profile. Apart from that, you can relocate, uh, you can move to any any company. No issue in that. And you get a major hike also because Adit Billa Group is a big brand. So you get a major hike also. So this uh, opportunity you also enjoy while joining the Hindalco. And most of the, generally people join Hindalco for this point of view also, because they get a major hike. Even GTs, engineers jo, who resign, they get a major hike of 50 to 60%. So it's mm -hmm. a big brand. 
if you got the opportunity so enjoy your one to two years here you will get to learn also you will get hike also and everything you will get accommodations all thing and apart from that fooding also there is no issue in our mess no issue of fooding also you will get prepared everything all the time very nominal charges are there okay most of the colleagues are suffers due to the foods issue so that issue is also not there apart from that you get a free electricity also you get every amenities washing machines all are available here free gym okay badminton court all free are available here there's one question from rithika can you please give a brief about working days office timings leaves and work environment okay, okay. okay. initially uh, during the first year they offer leave of 15 days okay our office timing is from uh, 8:30 to 6 okay in between you will get a break of 1.5 hours from 12 to 1:30 it's break of 1.5 hours you can go and rest at your mama okay after one year you will get a leave of 50 days okay then uh, give working days working days are normal no much burden but during closing when there are closings of uh, mis profile that time you will feel the pressure okay because you have to prepare the costing part apart from that work environment work environment is very good everyone treat you as a fresher okay they will try to guide you apart from that you in hindalco what is different the you can approach to higher level people okay like heads of vice presidents then apart from that cfo okay there is no hierarchical culture here no such issues here everyone will entertain you you can sit with anyone you can chat with anyone you can raise query to anyone so i think that is very good at hindalco when you uh, in, go to fp meet our md come there our cfo everyone is uh, treating as we are friends so that is uh, that culture i like the most at hindalco i think this culture you will not find in most of the uh, what companies okay so that is very good here your big uh, big vice presidents your uh, what to say plant heads will entertain you they will discuss with you they try to, that you should come first you should present everything so that is very good at hindalco we are not also very good at uh, speaking and apart from that presenting so that opportunity you will also get here there is a weekly capex meetings also apart from that they, there is a monthly business review in that you have to give your presentation to the cfo okay so you can uh, polish your presentation skills also at hindal so working culture wise no issues here got it any other questions guys uh, if you have any you can put it in the chat otherwise we'll move towards conclusion gd tactics okay so the first gd tactic is that you should try to start first okay then uh, you will get a time also for uh, to write down your points to so try to write down in a copy and uh, apart from that you should stick to your point if you are for the topic or against the topic stick to your uh, point of view that i am for the topic don't try to deviate and at last try to give conclusion also and the time you get to prepare na you can you should open your mobile or anything and try to note it down what are for that topic what points can i cover during my gd so this will help you to clear your gd and guys this is gd is the first step so don't take it in a casual way because if you are out of gd you will lose indalco industries and i compare indalco although camp uh, its package is less than psus i compare with my colleagues they even suffer in accommodation they are facing the fooding issue so no such issue there is in indalco all all everything is free your 15000 per month is saved due to uh, i think accommodation and foodings and electricity okay and your package is also at par at market now 12 lakh first year 14.5 lakh from second years so no such issue is there but try to uh, grab the opportunity try to crack the hindalco interview you will like it working here got it great any other questions guys otherwise we'll move towards conclusions uh, shriyank if you can just summarize our whole discussion in a couple of minutes one or two minutes and then we'll we'll end it okay so the uh, summary is that uh, 
you should uh, first the most important is that you should uh, very thorough with your cv okay you should whatever you have written you should don't bluff try to explain it clearly apart from that gd don't take it in a casual way okay if you if possible try to take session also on gds gd part then thirdly it's a techno commercial profile okay you should understand you should learn the plant business how plant do business what it manufacture okay what are uh, the risk to that plant up uh, then you can basically do your day to day working part apart from that uh, it's a manufacturing industry and uh, at last i want also want to conclude that if you will leave you will get a major hike also it's a big brand okay and uh, an interview for interview try to know the basic you should have the basic knowledge of every subject okay and uh, whatever if you emphasize in your cv be thorough on that subject be, know every each and every part of that subject and know the also you should know the share price of hindalco md cfo and uh, some basic like what is the turnover p ratios ratio analysis part you should also be clear because in our day to day working we involve that in our Okay. Got. Wonderful year. Uh, thanks a lot, Shriyank, uh, for your time for guiding uh, uh, the candidates uh, for the interview. Uh, and we wish and that all of you, all of you get and your you desire. All I also want that you should open your camera and try to speak more and more because I have learned the tactic that in case of presentation, presentation only is the one tactic is there. Uh, try to prepare more and more, repeat more and more. Okay, there is no such. Uh, there is no another way to crack presentations part. Okay, mm -hmm. so try to speak more and more, open your camera, try to interact with different people. If you hide and you can't crack the interview, it will provide a hurdle. That is, that is how you'll be able to practice, right? That yes, is how practice more and more, your... practice more and more. That is only the tactic of presentation. Thanks a lot, Siang, for your time and we wish you all the best for your interviews at Hindalco. We wish you yeah, all... Yeah, yeah, I wish all the all and best. send us some sweets. Uh, Try to a, get the interview. Okay. Yeah. All the best, guys. Bye bye. Take care. Good night. Bye. bye.